Hello, it's Gali Gofarb and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about the dangers of drinking energy drinks. Nowadays people rely on energy drinks to get them through a challenging day and boy we know we have a lot of those. People use them to perform better at sports, to put all-nighters, to study or even to party harder. Energy drinks have become the go-to solution to overcome tiredness, to beat daytime sleepiness and to increase performance in many, many things. However, because of the main ingredients are sugar and caffeine, the effects are not always so beneficial. And because energy drinks contain such high amounts of sugar and caffeine, there is rising concern about the effects they have on our body. So what do energy drinks do exactly to the body? Well, the American Heart Association recommends no more than 36 grams of sugar per day per man. And if you look at the 500 milliliter bottle of Lucozade, it contains 62 grams of sugar uh, for this bottle, which is almost twice the recommended sugar uh, daily allowance. So that is a lot of sugar we're consuming in one energy drink. Monster Energy contains 57 grams of sugar in a 500 milliliter bottle and in a 473 milliliter bottle of Red Bull, we have 51 grams of sugar and 151 milligrams of caffeine. Now, sugar, we know that it not only causes weight gain, but it also is a risk factor for heart disease and diabetes as well. And while sugar does spike blood sugar levels and insulin making us give us a high in energy, it quickly goes shooting down, resulting in a rapid decrease in energy levels, meaning that it's only for a short period that we have this energy rush from the sugar. Now, energy uh, drinks also contain caffeine in high levels. And while caffeine does have its perks, the side effects are problematic. High consumption of caffeine leads to migraines, nervousness, it leads to insomnia in, in some people, muscle tremors and irritability in most people. Now caffeine affects different people differently. Factors like genetics, age, body mass and your health conditions determine your sensitivity to caffeine and the adverse effects that come with it. But caffeine is addictive for everyone. And so regular consumption does tend to take away your power and control over yourself, which results in lowered feelings of satisfaction from life. Now, what are the effects of excessive energy drink consumption? From messing with your sleep to spiking your blood sugar levels and raising blood pressure and leaving you feeling less in control of yourself due to the addictive nature of this, these drinks, consuming energy drinks also lead to other health problems. Because of its addictive nature, people become dependent on them and therefore drinking in moderation becomes somewhat difficult. The last decade has seen a large number of energy drink intoxications in hospitals and they lead to seizures in people and arrhythmias. A study on the rising consumption of energy drinks and its impact on the population health shows a link between energy drinks and cardiovascular conditions and metabolic conditions as well. Now research also revealed the negative behaviors such as poor mental health, risk-seeking behavior in people that drink these energy drinks, and also some kinds of psychiatric disorders associated with the caffeine consumption. Research studies also looked at the connection between energy drinks and arthritis, and also stroke. So while it's true that energy drinks do give people an energy jolt um, when they need it, these drinks are not entirely recommended. And if you find it very difficult avoiding these drinks, then do drink them in moderation. So I hope you like the content. If you did, give it a thumbs up and you may subscribe to my channel if you like this content on health and nutrition. If you want more and like the, the information here, please visit my blog at www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much for joining.